Sometimes when we look out at the world, we just think that this is the way the world is supposed to be. And maybe we're powerless to change it. But I think when you're an artist, when you're creative, you feel empowered. That's what art's all about. What I see in all of the young people that come through the program is just a piece of the future. AFA just opened so many doors for me. It's unbelievable. I'm still taking it and I've been here for almost five years. It makes you feel like a sense of accomplishment, like you finished something. It's like empowering. When I started Artists for Humanity, Boston was second to Los Angeles in, in youth violence. What I found were young people hungry for the opportunity to have a voice. I found young people that were so excited that someone wanted to hear what they had to say. By the time I met Susan, to work with her, to talk to her, like a ray of sunshine, a breath of fresh air, you know, wind under my wings, all, all at once. All of a sudden, I felt like myself. Hey. One of our first big projects was this show for Nia Nia Nielsen in the Nielsen Gallery. Susan comes into the gallery and says, I have this project. And she brings in the work, and they bring in the work. They are graffiti paintings. And I say, well, this is different for Newbury Street. This is excellent, you know? It was real to experience at a young age like that. We wanted to do it. We had some grown-ups that felt like we were important enough to pay attention to to make that happen. Beautiful film. And so one piece would be like 200 bucks or 500 bucks. They didn't even know that you sold paintings. This was unheard of. $500? What? you like a used car. <laughs> she wasn't going to make everybody who comes there be an artist, but rather learn how our world functions. And this kind of program is so intelligently set up for human beings to actually succeed, no matter who you are. Teaching kids how to be creative and how to employ technology and innovation is what every employer out there in our city is looking for. The youth want to be challenged. They want to be looked at as having the strength and the capacity to do just about anything. At Artists for Humanity, there's a hustle going on every day. We're responsible for creating seven to 800 jobs successfully for clients each year. It's phenomenal just the people that we connect with, like John Kenneth Straub. His work ethic, his family values, he's seen relevance in it here. I feel as if AFH has helped our company establish our brand. A brand of being creative, innovative, yet also of quality dedication to the craft. There's no handouts there. He's like, you guys can work, I'm gonna put you guys to work. It's one of the best human relations stories that has been developed or written, and it's still being written. I'm actually gonna be the first male to attend a four-year college in my entire family, so that's hard. Watching your project get developed and watching it go through the whole process and finally get putting on display is like exciting. And my favorite thing in 3D would have to be the flower. It was painful, but it was very beautiful when it, we finished it. I always wanted to have a job that I enjoyed doing and that I was happy doing. So like when I found out about this place, I was like, definitely have to take that opportunity. What I gained out of this was confidence and motivation. I feel like those are the two key pieces of success in life. Every young person, every mentor, every person on our staff adds value to the story and helps us create the next steps. As I look at the future of Artists for Humanity, I realize just how dependent we all are on each other. We would not be here today without our friends and our supporters and our clients. We want to double the youth employment that we offer. We're the biggest employers of, of teens currently. But we're going to do more. We have kids on a waiting list. There's nothing I hate more than turning away a kid. The will is what these young people have. The will to make a difference in their life, in their classroom, in their community. And hopefully we can have them stay here in Boston because we need them here 
Every day is a miracle because you draw something today that you couldn't do yesterday and you say, wow, I couldn't do that yesterday. What can I possibly do tomorrow? I can do anything. It's an incredible metaphor for what's possible.